Ciao, buongiorno. Sam and I just got up. We are going to head to a new country today. Um, this one kind of was not on the list here. Before we head out, I'm actually probably going to put up the, um, the camera here because I do not feel like um, holding two big ass backpacks and the camera walking through a crowd of thousands of people. So yeah, it just adds to the difficulty. So I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right to the parking garage. So here we go. Oh. Uh, I guess I jumped too far. Uh, we missed the parking garage. We are now in front of a store. We're gonna see what they have for luggage because we wanna bring home some souvenirs and we don't really have space for it in our bags. So, yeah. All right, we've been driving for like an hour now. We stopped to get something to eat because it's been like an hour since we've eaten. We got McDonald's. We haven't tried it in Italy yet. It's a Mick creation. It's called a... Gustoso. A Gustoso. What the fudge is that? I wish there was a way to have you smell how disgusting this smells. There's no possible way I'm gonna eat more than a bite. But I could definitely eat another bite. I mean, it's not like terrible, but I don't know what it is I'm chewing. What is that? A mic gustoso? No me gusto. <laughs> no me gusto. 2.2 out of 10. 1.1. We have made it to Lago de Bres. Parking lot three. Parking lot three. Now we're here. Now we're here. This is Lago de Bres. So if you like Instagram or Google pictures of Lago de Bres, super picturesque. And there's like in the in the early morning, um, the the rowboats here are like strung in a line. And there's like six or eight of rowboats in a line strung out to the middle of the lake. And everybody takes a very similar uh, photograph, but. It's funny, like actually getting here, it looks like they've definitely increased the number of boats. So they're all numbered. I'm looking at one that's now numbered 37. So it just, it's... It's not the picture, but yeah. it is still extremely pretty. So we're about to leave now. Um, pretty cool, we spent like maybe an hour here. Yeah. Kind of switch to see what you get. There is like a mile and a half hike around the whole thing. We did not do that, we don't kind of really have time for that. Nope, but it's so cute. It is, it is pretty cute. The water level is down like a lot. Uh, you can see that the boathouse is fully exposed. Normally it's in water, you can't walk where we just did right here, but it's alright. So cool. There was a few people swimming though, which it is like snow runoff water. That's kind of what makes obviously a lake and a blue ass lake. But it's pretty damn cold. I stuck my feet in there. Not a fan. By the way, uh, before we get in the car, check out the whip. Have um, we not showed it yet? I honestly don't think so. So we got the uh, the BMW M series. No idea what that means. It just got the M on there, and I know the M are the the dope ones. Yep. It's been a nice little car. It's pretty quick. It's nice. All right. So Sam and I made it to Austria, and of course, right at the border, our phones turned off. Uh, but we did get here, and I downloaded the map just in case this happened. So that was good. So we got to the hotel. We haven't even found the hotel actually. Yeah, yeah, we're just near it. And we found a parking garage, we're parking in here. And now you can hear this rave in the background. No idea what that is. So uh, see, in a, see in a few minutes, unless we get stabbed. <laughs> no idea where we're going, what it we're doing. Cool. It seems like it's like a college town, party town. Yeah, so. You know, obviously we're worried about, oh, well, we have anywhere to eat for dinner. Well, if not, there's places and bars to drink, so <laughs> that's our next step. All right, well, we found the the, uh, the hotel here. Yep. Is this the first hotel we could stay at? Yeah. Yeah, this is the first actual hotel that we stayed at. The only reason we really did it is because we have points. 
kind of a bizarre room, honestly. Like, it looked a lot better from the pictures, I would have to say, but it's definitely not bad. It's nice. Yeah, you got this little, like, reading nook or sex dungeon or whatever you want to call it, but it is, like, bizarre. You do also have a balcony, which you probably won't see anything because it's dark, but it just overlooks the building. Nothing special. Nice little bedroom. It's weird. You got green carpet. Actually, it's blue carpet. It's like suede almost. I don't know. This is just like the most bizarre room. You have the, the shower with no door, which is fine, but it just seems like everything's going to get wet. All right, we're going to find something to eat. I'm starving. I wanted to eat potato goulash. That was like one of the big reasons I wanted to come to Austria is I saw that on a menu somewhere. It sounds delicious. Let's go. We're going. Well, I'm just waiting for you to put your phone, I mean, your camera away. Put your phone down. I don't have a phone on me. I know. I hate it. Sam and I looked up traditional Austrian dishes. I ended up getting um, beef goulash. I got a pretzel. And then Sam got bruschetta. And then... Yeah, no, Basically, some sort of egg noodles with like cheese and then fried onions and fries. Everything is 10 out of 10. It's so good. Austria goes hard. So I think it's because we're in a in a college town, but freaking part of town. Yeah, Innsbruck is uh, is a little rowdy. I just had I think the dinner of the trip for me. No, the the pasta and the lobster. Pasta for was you. My hand. Okay. I, th I think I like this one better, I have to admit. Up until like three days ago, we had no idea this city even existed. <laughs> but it is so cool. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I just think it's really, really cool. It seems like it'd be really pretty, even like, I mean, it's pretty right now, but I feel like I can't wait to see it in the daytime. Yeah, like all the buildings are painted different colors. Everything's really unique. We even got like a food truck here. I mean, I don't know. It's just like all kinds of cool stuff. The city has these like electric trams that run through the center of them. It makes driving a little scary. When we're driving in here, I was, I was a little scared on what you do because I didn't want to run into one, but it's all right. Yeah, I have no idea what we're even looking at, but this place is cool. All right, after a little bit of exploring uh, Innsbruck, Austria, Australia might, eh? Gonna catch another shrimp on that Barbie. He's crazy. She's never heard of an Australian, eh? I'm just kidding. It's Austria, not uh. Australia. Sorry, Mott. It's my bed. It's like 11.30. We spent all day in the car today. Oh, driving. Drip driving. Oh. Whoa, gotta focus. Back in focus. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm tired. I'm pretty damn tired. You tired? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can tell. She's super tired. But, yeah, I guess we're gonna hit the hay, and then tomorrow we have to start heading back towards Zurich, because tomorrow is our last full day. What the hell? Yeah, where did it all go? Where'd it go? It's gonna be nice to eventually go back and watch this, and we'll remember what we did, because as of right this minute... I don't remember Switzerland at all. Yeah, no clue on, on what we did. I barely remember Italy. I remember Venice. It's weird, the place I want to forget the most. I remember the most. Just kidding, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. You don't even know what to say. So we're going to head to bed. You know what that means? Sleepy time. No. Later. Time for No. Time for sleepy time. Later. Well, it's a little late. I don't know why I'm just now pulling off the camera. But it's our one day in Austria. We're in Innsbruck, Austria. I know I said that yesterday, but just reiterating where we're at. Uh, we're now getting to see it during the daylight, and it's just as cool, if not even cooler. But it was fun last night, not knowing where we're going. It's dark, it's rainy, it was it's really cool. Sam and I made our way back after stopping at the um, parking garage and dropped off our stuff. Now we went to a bakery, got apple strudel, which is another one of the seven things that Austria is known for. So we'll have eaten three of seven. Nice. I also got a pretzel, I already ate it. <laughs> Holy shit. She 
is wine. Mmm. Mm hmm. I just thought it would be warm. You always want everything warm. She wants everything warm. But I do like apple. That's really good. I like it. 7.1 out of 10. That's a review. Apple strudel. <laughs> Sam and I just left the grocery store. We just spent like, I don't know, $12 on drinks. We bought a whole bunch of different weird stuff that we've never seen before. And we're gonna try all of them. Why? Yeah, baklava, because I know what that is. Baklava. What is it? Nobody knows. I don't know, it's like a dessert. I can't eat a dessert. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, thanks. Cheers. There is so many flavors. What is the flavor that's like, it doesn't belong in there? Oh, coconut. Okay, there's coconut. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. I just got coconut. What else is there? I don't know. Like, just sugar? <laughs> doesn't it just taste like sugar, though? Like, melted sugar? I don't know. I feel like we're eating loud. This is going to be like an ASMR video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people like to see it. Well, that's how they do it. I've seen one before. The lady with the nails? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's a review. Um, overall score of everything, 6.9. Why? One weekend up at the cabin was normal, but Bart and Krista weren't known to miss work. They just weren't no-call, no-show kind of people. Okay, before we go into another tunnel, uh, the tunnel that you guys just saw was six miles long, which is insane. If you're coming to Europe, tolls oh are very costly. I don't know exactly how much we've spent. If I had to guess, I'd put it close to like the $150 range. At least. That Make, cost us 11 euros, right? Yeah, just going through that, this one tunnel was 11 euros. Yeah, definitely budget for... Um, Lots for, of tolls. Yeah. I think we knew that there was going to be tolls, but I don't think that we knew that there was going to be, you know, close to $200 worth, or coming up on $200 worth of tolls. You may have heard in the tunnel, we're listening to a podcast, we love listening to like murder mystery ones. This one that we're listening to is, um, it's called... Uh, Sword and Scale. Sword and Scale. I was gonna get there. But yeah, yeah. I think we've listened to almost every single one or very close to it. If anybody has suggestions of podcasts that are equally as good or other, you know, true crime or whatever. We tried Crime Junkie too. Did yeah, Crime one? Crime Junkie's alright. I don't really like the girls all that much. But if anybody has suggestions on really good true crime podcasts, please comment in the description or Please comment down below, whatever you want to, whatever it is. But anyways, let me know. Let us know. Give us suggestions of episodes and different podcasts. Thank you. Bye, tunnel. All right, little detour here. Sam and I had to kind of backtrack about 20 miles because I think I missed a turn, but we are now in our fourth country for the trip. This is Liechtenstein or Liechtenstein. Honestly, don't know how you pronounce it. It's a really, really small country. It's actually smaller than the town that we live in. We live in the town of Gilbert, Arizona. And this country is smaller. Pretty hard to even find on a map, but it is its own country. Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein. Welcome to. Yeah, we don't know. Don't know how to pronounce it, but it's one of one of those two or something very similar. So, welcome. This church here with this crazy background. Oh, there it is. My bad. This church. The bells just went off, and they are the coolest sounding church bells. We kind of made it to this like lookout spot of the whole country, which is pretty cool. I really don't think there's anything to do here at all besides there's some hikes. besides live. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some hikes. I do remember reading that, but our phone data doesn't work in this country for whatever reason. Uh, so we can't really look anything up, so we've just been kind of driving around and whatnot. But I think we've experienced what we're going to experience, so might be time to move on on. We, uh, we still got to get back to Zurich. Still got to buy some souvenirs. We're supposed to find, like, some luggage uh, to take stuff home because we don't really have much space with our current luggage setup. Nope. Zero space. You probably can't hear any of this. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but yeah, yeah. Did you get scared? Yeah, yeah, ding dong. No. 
thought maybe you're gonna throw me over and then you're gonna be on the podcast. Okay. This this is cool. I I don't know, just a weird look to it. Yeah yeah ding dong. Yeah yeah ding dong. I made it back to Switzerland. We stopped at this lake. We don't really know what the lake is, but there's so many people. Well. There's tons of people just windsurfing, which is really cool. There was, when we uh, when we parked, there was one guy that was ripping. Now it looks like they're running a class or something, but it's another one of those super pretty and turquoise lakes. There's a lot of people here just sitting at the beach. I don't know what happens when you're like on the board and the wind takes you like far away. How do you ever get back? Couple right here is about to start banging out some kids. But this couple right here? That one. Alright, well, we're leaving this lake. I forget what it's called. I don't know, I want to say water sea, but that doesn't sound right. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. So we just left that little beach area. And there's like a like a change jar where you drop your money and you can just take ice cream. That is run off of a refrigerator. Never in my life seen anything like that. And we're not getting one? Let's go get some money. <laughs> Sam can't live without us not buying ice cream out of this this honor system thing here. Proof that we are dropping our... Oh, Lord. That's a, that's Proof that we're dropping our money, that's what I was going to say. Almond. Is this the one you want? Yeah. Okay. $2.50. $2.50. that all of it? It's $2.50. Oh my god, two coins and somehow that's 250. Switzerland is. The best $2.50 popsicle ice cream thing I ever had. Alright, Sam and I just got back to Zurich. Got to our hotel. It was free. We used some points and some credits only to figure out that they charge you $40 for parking. In the description, it says parking, but. Money. Yeah, we know. So our whole plan was that when we got back to Zurich, we we're gonna do fondue. Whoever receives like forty dollars or fifty or sixty dollars per person for fondue. We and don't even think we like fondue. Yeah, we don't really like fun. I don't think we'd want to spend a hundred dollars for the two of us to eat cheese and bread. Yeah, especially after Zurich got us for parking again. Sons of bitches. Thirty-nine dollars for twelve hours is just absolutely ridiculous. But it is what it is. Welcome to Switzerland. <laughs> we are in downtown Zurich in front of the river here. Yeah, it's like this cool waterfront area. Very kind of picturesque. There's shops on both sides. But we're kind of just wrapping up our final night here. Getting some last minute shopping done. Kind of disappointed. It's all over. Yeah. Lame. I can't remember what country is like, or where this is popular at. Is it Paris. Denmark? Oh, it's Paris. I think so. It's like the bridge of love. It's like you're locking in your your love. I think Paris. Your love. I guess that is the city of love or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds about right. We've been recording this whole time. No, not even close. Well, I guess this is goodbye uh, for this trip. Yeah. yeah, neither of us are too happy about it. It's the next day. It's the day we leave. We have to be at the airport at 1. It's been an amazing trip. We had a really good time. Some of us are a little sadder than the rest of us. I'm sadder? Yeah, you're, you're not in a happy mood anymore. No. When we go places... She's in her best mood, on her best behavior. When we go home, she is, um... What? Unpleasant. <laughs> Say goodbye. 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 Sleepy time later.